So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now this is the first video of 2024 so I just wanted to wish all of you guys a very happy new year and I wish you all the best of health throughout 2024 as well as your close ones and loved ones. And uh, yeah, in today's video guys we have some 4-3-2-1 custom tactics and player instructions. We're also going to play a game for the video and uh, yeah, let's get right into it guys. If you guys want coins for FC24, make sure you check out MMOEXP.com, their link is down in in the description they're very fast they're very cheap they're very reliable and if you use my code Rima, you can get yourself a lovely five percent discount alrighty then guys so starting off with the tactics defensive style as always guys we have this on balance now the reason we have it on balance is because it does give you the best control over the defense so when you want to be aggressive you can and then when you want to be a little bit more passive and maybe drop back you can also do that so that is why I really like balanced for the defensive width guys we have this on 40 this is so we can primarily defend in a nice narrow and compact shape which will stop our opponents being able to just attack us right through the middle so it is really useful to have a lower width in this game in my opinion you don't want to commit to a crazy low width however because it's still important to be able to get out to the wings and block those wide attacks so you want to be narrow but not too narrow guys moving on to the depth we have this on 60 now there are a couple of options you can have here what a lot of people like to do is use the 71 depth thing this is because it does give you that automatic press and the game basically defends for you and it makes it very difficult for your opponent to attack i personally don't like to use this after the new update and like something like 60 where we still get the higher defensive line but we're not always having to have that automatic press you know it gives us more control which is why i like it now, if this is too high for you guys, you can lower it even more to something like 55, and that is absolutely fine. But just pick a depth that you are comfortable with. Now, for the build-up play, guys, we have this on balance because it allows us to pick and choose when and where we use each form of build-up. So if we want to play slow, we can, and then if we want to speed it up and play a little bit faster, we can also do that. So it allows us to use whatever we want, whenever we want, essentially, guys. For the chance creation, we have this on direct passing because it is the most meta option you can have. It's basically the only setting which will allow you to break through that park the bus defense because it makes your attackers push up very far against the defenders meaning it's very easy to isolate a specific player and take them on uh, players will also commit these runs where the defenders will follow that run and then your attacker will track back so you can cut back to them so this tactic although it's very boring is very effective guys now because this is a narrow formation i do have a like a, a lower attacking width a bit more narrow but i don't like to put it all the way down because it just makes your players way too close together so I'm currently using 37 so our attack is nice and narrow but it's not too narrow at the same time if this is a little bit low for you you can up this that is absolutely fine guys for the players in the box we have this on six this is so we can get quite a few players into the box to finish off our chances but we don't overcommit everybody and then corners and free kicks guys we have these both on one but you can do whatever you want with that now for the player instructions guys on the striker we have them on stay central and the mixed attack instruction now we have them on stay central because this player is our striker we don't particularly want them drifting out into the wider areas especially since it is a one strike formation so we want this player in the middle so we can be always in the correct positions to help us score more goals I also prefer mixed attack as opposed to getting behind on this player because I feel like you get more out of them you know they help in the build up they sometimes make runs in behind so I just think it's easier to attack and a bit less predictable if I'm being honest with you guys that being said if you want to put them on getting behind that is absolutely fine Moving on to the right forward, we have them on stay central and get in behind. Stay central for similar reasons to the striker. Uh, it keeps them in the more narrow positions, which is really good with this formation because they get into positions which are really difficult for your opponent to mark. They get in those really weird channels, which can be very difficult to get to. Um, if you have them on balance whips, sometimes they can drift a little bit far out wide and it makes it feel a bit more like a 4-3-3, which is not always great, but you can just experiment with that if you like. I do prefer to have this player on get behind so we can utilize their pace to get in behind the high defensive line it also works pretty well with the striker because let's say the striker drops deep uh, and receives a pass this player can then run in behind and you can play the through ball to them you know just the little patterns of play that you, you you know you can do with getting behind on this player so they are the instructions for the right forward the left forward guys we have them on comeback on defense as it makes it defend in a four-man midfield so on this instruction here come back on defense it'll make this player come back to defend as they left mid in the 4-4-2 shape the reason we do this is because the 4-4-2 is really good at defending both the narrow and the wider areas so it's very very defensively solid as well as being good in attack just by putting this player on comeback on defense guys 
Moving on to the left centre mid, I use a more box to box style player in this position. So I leave them on the default setting so we can kind of just let them do their own thing. We don't really want to restrict them to just doing specific things. So we kind of just let them do whatever they want. The only important thing is that we have them on cover centre so they do defend as one of the centre mids in the 4 4 2 shape. Now for the middle centre mid guys, I use a more defensive minded player. So when this player stay back while attacking in cover centre, pretty self explanatory, but we don't want this player going forward if he is defensive and then cover centre so he will defend as one of the two centre mids in the 4-4-2 shape. Now moving on to the right centre mid, because I said this defends in a 4-4-2, uh, if we put this player on the cover wing instruction, he'll defend as a right mid in the 4-4-2, which is why we can get away with using an actual attacker here, because we don't really have to worry about their defensive stats, as they're not going to actually have to defend as one of the centre midfielders. So you can use an actual attacker here and put them on get forward and get into the box for, uh, for the cross, so you can get that extra body forward and it is really useful to have. So use an attacker player here and copy these instructions guys for the fullbacks on your more attacking one balanced overlap to give you that extra width to give you that wider option and it allows you to stretch out the opponent's defense really underrated tactic guys and i still see a lot of people not using this and i do highly recommend it as it does make attacking easier for the other fullback guys stay back and overlap so you always have at least three defenders back at a time but when you send them on a run forward they'll make the overlapping runs to give you that extra width as well for the two center backs we leave them alone and the keeper i also leave them alone but yeah that's it for the tactics let's get into a game guys Sorry to interrupt the video guys, but I have noticed around 90% of you that watch the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if you are enjoying the content or finding it helpful, please consider adding that subscription as it does help me out massively. Also, don't forget to drop a like on the video as well. And with all that aside guys, I hope you enjoy. Let's continue. So who are we playing against here? We've got Dudek, I take it that's from the daily login, Patelas, De Jong, Bellingham, Son, Cole, Salah. Pretty nice team to be honest. Kind of basic, but, you know, so is everybody's at this point. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do, guys. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, there goes my alarm. Sorry about that, guys, but it is 1-0. There we go. He kind of screwed himself there, I won't lie. <laughs> nice, we read that, but we don't get the ball. That is typical. Don't give him any space to attack. Make him go backwards. There we are. And there we go, Griezmann. 2-0. Really lovely goal. We read that really well uh, in defense. And then the attack was nice. That is what you want to see, guys. Lovely. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks this, but this Havertz doesn't feel particularly quick. It might just be me, like I said, but I don't always notice his pace. I might be using the wrong chem style or something, but he just doesn't feel that quick for me. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's a bit jammy, but whatever. It happens. Alright, so halftime, pretty boring game, I won't lie guys. The gameplay feels a little bit funny, but it might just be because everybody's on, you know, it's the holidays and whatever. So, yeah, it feels a little bit dodgy, but, you know, we're still winning. Let's see what we can do in the second half. Lovely from Havertz. Just going to bang it. There we go. Near post, 3-1. It's a bit of a kick-off, but, you know, we took it well at least. Tackle. Oh, lovely. 4-1, that might be a quip. Oh, my God, my eyes are killing me, man. Sorry. That might be a quip. Hopefully it is, anyway. All right, yeah, guys, he has quit. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed or found this useful, please be sure to drop this a thumbs up as it does really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any of these videos. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. And with all that aside, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.